it is copa data source called uh, one underscore c o p a uh, c b r cost based reports so for the data source we will load the data in the bi system Here yes, this is VCC and we went to KEP0 and we have created a data source called uh, 1COPACPR with the operating concern etc. So we will uh, we have created the data source so let's display that. Here you can see this data source is already created with the partition name of uh, Brookers. It is uh, for the company code, and uh, uh, you can see everything is uh, loaded. And uh, there is a extract structure DDIC, which is the uh, ZX ID 30344. So this is uh, generated, and uh, this extract structure, I mean, uh, generates when the data source gets activated. So data source is uh, successfully created and activated. Here we have selected few fields. You can see some of the fields are selected and the others are not selected. So according to our requirement, we have selected the fields. Here we have selected few fields for the line items as well. And for the value fields. So that is the complete field selection we have. And uh, now we will see the data in RS3. And we have to extract the same data. I mean extract the data which is available in uh, BW system. Is back, so he will be joining us.
you can see it is showing 1461 records. Yeah, it is because we have 100 records per call and we only have 10 calls here. So let's make it uh, 5000 and make it 20. And let's see how much data this data source has a complete data because we will load whole data in a full mode and uh, so we need to know the complete data 5020 means uh, we have uh, we have i mean we can extract up to one lakh hundred thousand data but here we only have uh, 22,128 data records listed. So the data source contains this amount 22,128 data records. So we have to go to the BW system. Here in ECC system, in ECC system, once you uh, activated the data source, you have to go to RSS and make sure it is available in post processing because it must be available there. Here you can see one underscore COPSCBR coding based report is uh, available here, and it means that uh, the data source is successfully activated and it is uh, available in uh, in the system. So once it is available. You can double click it to check the fields. Here we got all the fields here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-two. 15, 16, 17, 18, We got some fields here. One, just one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have 31 fields here and uh, uh, once, I mean, we have uh, noted some uh, fields and there are uh, 24 fields here. So let's note the fields which are missing and uh, we have to find out the info for them as well. So let's see how to cope up with that. Let's, uh, we have to say control Y and uh, select all, control C and paste it here. Shahid, was this our data source? Yeah, this is our data source. I just double clicked it. I thought we had a okay. Yeah, I I mean uh, last class uh, I have created this data source. Last class was uh, yesterday. Abhi Wale uh, was has done this class and uh, uh, 
So this is the same uh, Hopa data source which we were explaining. So you got that? What was that? This is the same Copa data source which uh, we are explaining, but uh, this data source we have created last class uh, with Adiwale yesterday. This yeah. is the same data source we created. I think this is the same type of data source. I can't. I, I can barely hear you. This is this is the same type of data source we have uh, created. Uh, just as uh, I mean, uh, you have a doubt that this is not a data source we have created, right? Yes, exactly. Because uh, we have created with uh, some other name, C1, uh, something like that, CB underscore one. And right. When you and uh, mm -hmm. Uh, Anna was in the class and yesterday I have uh, again mm -hmm. put the class for Adiwale separately and uh, I have uh, oh, okay. done the same work it is the same work but uh, the name is different CBR so okay. I have selected few more fields here uh, we have selected okay. some 25 fields at that time and now I have selected few more fields for this data source so uh, I'm uh, adding those uh, all the fields. I will filter those fields, and we will uh, have the like uh, you know we can know that which field uh, we need to uh, get data for. Okay. So here we have uh, done this and now we have to So there are a few fields which we need to find So let's see uh, which fields we need to find out for uh, the info object names. So for that we have to go to uh, BI system. Here first of all we have to, you can see this this one uh, Aqua you were talking about this uh, this one, one underscore COPACB1 this is the data source we have created at that time yes and now uh, to I mean uh, for uh, explaining it to Adiwale I have created uh, another data source and uh, that is not yet available here we have seen that in uh, I mean uh, it is the same data source with uh, some extra fields same type of data source uh, costing based data source I have created and same uh, operating concern IDEA and uh, same partitioning field everything is same uh, and uh, the transaction KEB0 which we go to create for a COPA data source is so that is where we have created the data source and uh, uh, we have checked the records in uh, RSA3 it is around 21,000 something so we have to get that uh, data now to the BW system. So for that, first of all, uh, we haven't got that uh, data source in uh, BI system. So we have to replicate it. Uh, you have to right click on the application component which holds the uh, COPA data sources and uh, replicate the metadata. So it will, it will uh, replicate our data source, newly created data sources. 